Hey, welcome to Toy Chess Quest. Today we're going to do our first ever Transformers review. I'm so excited. One of the fun things about Transformers for me was I'd always see them on the shelves in my toy hunts and they were packed. Like these sections were packed to the brim. I grew up on the 90s uh, CGI animated Beast Wars show, which I'd love to revisit, but looks pretty rough. So I don't know. I may have to give it a shot. I saw those characters were going to pop up in the Netflix shows. I started watching that, really got into it really quick. Just started going through everything. Watched Transformers the movie quickly after and it instantly became one of my favorite movies. I don't know how I slept on it for so long. It's an absolute blast. I think it was like $11 on iTunes. It was one of those things where it was so close to the rental fee that I was like, eh. And I'm glad I did because I've already watched it twice. Today, we're going to be talking about Grimlock and uh, one of the cool things about the Transformers toys for me was I don't follow the news on these. So I walked into a Target one day, and lo and behold, there's one of my favorite Transformers from the Transformers movie, Grimlock. He's from the Studio Series, you can see here on the side of the box. They've got the 86, which is cool, and he's number 6 of 86. Uh, I absolutely love this. This is like the, you can, this is a window into the thing, and the little 86 is cut out. Just a nice little touch that Hasbro did there. Very excited that he comes with Wheelie. I thought that was another fun character from the movie. And uh, yeah, I love these boxes. These look great. I'm a huge fan of how these Transformers come with these really nice backdrops for your shelves. I think that is a really nice touch. No pun intended, the touch is the song from the movie. But I think that's a really nice little detail because a lot of these are pulled out, I throw them away. Uh, some of the turtle ones I'll take a picture of so that I can throw it up on my TV as a background for whenever I'm taking like a picture or something. And uh, I think I'm actually gonna display these. Like I think uh, this will be the first one because I think this is a pretty nice, pretty nice generic spaceship kind of thing you can see there. So I think uh, if you can see, I've already started a little Transformers section on my shelf over here, trying to keep things random, mixing them up a little bit, but yeah. Bumblebee, who I unboxed on Instagram and TikTok. So if you're not following me on there, I'd highly recommend you check those out too. I'm trying to do some fun stuff on TikTok, little one minute videos. I just started, so. As far as Grimlock goes, I just want to kind of show you the packaging real quick. And uh, if you're new to the channel, what I'll do is I'll kind of talk about the figure like I have been. I'll show you the packaging. Then we'll do what I call a closer look, which we'll go ahead and get to now. So let's take a closer look at the figure out of the packaging. All right, before we get too into it, uh, during my hunt where I picked this figure up, which I'll link above if you haven't seen it and you're interested, I, uh, <laughs> I'd seen this figure once. There were two of them. I came back. There was thankfully one left for me. I've since found a bunch of them, but I ended up taking this one in case it was the only one I would ever find. And... Um, I was very concerned just because of this it was looking pretty rough. And you can see I there were all these little pieces of this plastic in the uh, packaging. But it looks like Grimlock himself is fine. So thankfully he looks unscathed. It just looks like Maybe it got smashed in the packaging. I don't know. He looks fine though. All right. Another quick tip. Someone had suggested to me early on unboxing stuff on the channel that I should get a pair of fingernail clippers to clip these kind of things here. And I think that tip blew my mind. But the nice thing that I found was in my own little kit that has all my fingernail clippers and stuff was this, which is like a little pair of scissors kind of. But if you look, it is actually just fingernail clippers but with like a little extended thing. So this is what I've been using because I didn't want to buy another pair of fingernail clippers. It works very nice. You can really get in there and just maybe clip the things off. No problem. So I want to thank again, whoever gave me that tip and uh, just know that I think this is also a really, really good option. All right, let's get this bad boy out of here. All right, and we've got one heck of a figure. Let me tell you, busting this guy out of the package, I was smiling from ear to ear. Bunch of great memories flooding through my head. I've been laughing to myself about the way Grimlock talks all week. Ever since I got this, I've been like, me need to record review. And I am trying very hard not to do the entire review in Grimlock speak. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and do the accessories first. Let's start with Wheelie. This guy's adorable. Very cute little transformer that I think is a lot of fun. Uh, this, oh, 
does come out of his hand, which is nice to know. His slingshot does come out, which is really nice. So go ahead and lay that right there. And then he doesn't have a ton of movement. You're going to have him sitting on Grimlock's shoulder anyway. I assume he's going to do a lot of that. I do wish there was some kind of a thing he does. His legs are, he is perpetually in this position, which is unfortunate. <laughs> uh, it's nice because he can just kind of, and he looks adorable and he's super fun. And I'm sure that's how I'm going to display him. But I do wish there were more options. He's got a hip swivel. As you can see here, his head turns. Oh, his head's actually... On like a ball so he can that's nice it's a nice little nice little ball joint there so you can really spin it around the arms are like the legs where they are fixed in place uh they do have a nice movement where you can da -da -da, look like you can maybe dab yep that's great yep wheelie being brought into the modern day great so sorry. Okay, let's get his little slingshot back in his hand before I lose it forever, because that's what I'm worried about. He's fun, though. I think he's a fun little accessory. But there's this really nice little peg I just noticed right here, and I think it is for... Yeah. That'll hold him in place on Grimlock. That's great. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, we'll take him down, and we will get to Grimlock now. Hopefully I can get Wheelie to sit here. I have a, I'm having kind of a trouble putting him anywhere but on Grimlock, so we're just going to have him maybe really kick it up. And there we go. Okay. Okay. I love this background for shooting this review. I'd like to get a proper plain color background eventually, but until now, I think this is going to be a very good alternative for when I do my Transformer stuff. So thank you very much, Hasbro. Um, I think it's kind of funny. It does say, well, you can't, let me put my camera down here. On the stand, it says authentic. So I don't know if that's like a problem. I have seen some really funny, since I started collecting Transformers, I've been getting some really funny ads for like more or less the Wish equivalent of Transformers. Like, you know, it's like a B car and a hot rod truck, like stuff like that. So very funny to me. <laughs> I think bootleg toys are a, kind of a riot. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this guy. He is very nice. I mean, you can kind of see I'm a, I got a big old hand. He's got a, he's a big old dude. Let me grab a regular size transformer so you can kind of get an idea of the scale. All right, I went ahead and I grabbed Grapple from the Netflix line. And I'm going to try to have him stand up pretty much straight. So you can kind of see where he is scaled with a regular Transformer. I consider this the regular scale. So back up here, you can kind of see. And then I have the really little Transformers. So if you want to see what that scale is like, so you can see it there, the red. But yeah, I think it's a, it, it works very well. I think this is about where he'd be in the movies, you know? to grapple so i love that i think that is awesome i'm so excited about this figure oh my gosh okay let's take a better look at grimlock and his movement and everything just kind of wanted to show you the size comparison since i'm new to reviewing transformers i figure what i'd like to do is show you the robot play around with him for a little bit then we'll transform grimlock into his famous robot body and we'll take a look at that too. First off, I love the color of Grimlock. I think like uh, I was I've been watching a lot of Transformers documentary and stuff like that just to you know get some of that info. I like Docs, the Toys That Made Us is a really good one. I've watched probably four times already. But uh, they were talking about how the the uh, Autobots always have like oranges and reds and golds. You can see that is on display here, and. Uh, Good movement. He's got the gauntlets. His little fist, which you can hold the gun. Which I didn't really show you the gun too much. I'm so sorry. That just fits in the handle like that. Also bends up in the combo, right? You think? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a little tight there. Probably should have warmed it up a little. I think that uh, 
the Transformers joints all look so good. Uh, I, last time I collected Transformers was probably around Beast Wars, so I was watching uh, the old commercial for Beast Wars the other day, and I noticed how bulky the figures were. Uh, especially with the new ones coming out, I saw the new Cheetor, and in comparison to the old one, it, it's pretty laughable, really. It's, it's, it's funny to see, because you're like, man, the old one was quite the thick boy. <laughs> Popping him on here. <laughs> And the new one is uh, very slim. Looks like an actual cheetah. The other one had like this weird upper body. Yeah, gosh, I love this guy. Legs, same kind of thing. You know you're going to get. He, unlike Wheelie, is not perpetually taking a dump. Though he can. Though he can if you want him to. He can sit on some other bigger person's shoulder. Maybe my shoulder. He could be my personal Wheelie. Though I don't know how happy my fiance will be. To return to public with me, with this guy on my shoulder, though I think it would be a pretty good look. But I think this guy is so great. What an awesome Transformer. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love the colors on his, like whoever decided, I mean this is whoever created Grimlock or whoever colorized Grimlock. I, uh kudos i love this that is so cool and you don't see those colors like you don't see the blue or the uh green anywhere else i think that rules it was just really pop it's almost like he has his own like reebok style or like cool nike sneakers you know really makes him unique i love that i think that just head to toe that is one cool looking robot he is gonna look great on my shelf Let's put that wheelie on him again one more time before we get him transformed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is so great. Oh, my gosh. How fun. How funny. That is wonderful. Oh, my gosh. Perfect accessory. Perfect. Oh, I love it. These guys are ready to have a dance party with Eric Idle. Woo. Okay, let's pop wheelie off. And we are going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and transform this guy, and we're going to come back, and we're going to review the dinosaur version of Grimlock. So, let's cut to that. Alright! Me Grimlock, me King! We got him! We got the dino version going here. Uh, he's really fun. Uh, this will definitely be one of the first Transformers. I'm going to have a lot of trouble deciding if I want to keep him as the Dinobot. Or if I'm going to want to make him into the robot, which I normally do. I normally keep all my... Well, I only have a few right now. But most of my Transformers I keep as the robots. But I come from a long line of dinosaur enthusiasts. So I've been a huge fan of dinosaurs since as long as I can remember. Grimlock, the same thing. He can bend his legs. Nice and thick. It is a little too much of a seat on the back to stand up here, but you can still display him on the stand, which is nice. There's still possibilities. And uh, Wheelie has the same... Yes, yeah, so Wheelie has these little holes right here, and Grimlock has little places for him to plug into. So it's kind of like the opposite of the robot version where he has the little peg that you plug in. So yeah, see got wheelie on there. That is so fun. He can go on either side too, which is nice. You can see the peg right there. It's a really nice little feature. Like I said, I love that little accessory. But uh, Grimlock's great, really poseable. We'll go over some of the posability here. His arms go full 360. They also are on a ball joint, so they can go in and out. He is a T-Rex, so he only has so much reach. He's got little tiny arms. His mouth does open. And close. His head fully tilts. Some Mecha Godzilla vibes there, like a very cool. And yeah, he's a blast. The gun sits right here. Took me, uh, <laughs> I got done building it and I was like, what the heck? I missed a piece. I missed a, I missed a step. I don't know what I did. I am one of those people who definitely will start to follow the instructions building a transformer and then halfway through just completely abandon it <laughs> and just be like, I'll figure it out. 
And I did. I think I did okay, at least. If you're seeing any glaring errors and you're like, ah, you idiot. You clearly messed up. Well, please don't call me an idiot because that'll hurt my feelings, but I'd appreciate it if you nicely just told me, hey, you missed this step. So that is really cool. Gosh, I love this. Oh, I love this figure so much. This is such a, this is my favorite Transformer I own for sure. Oh my goodness. Grapple's standing right next to me. Very awkward. Sorry, Grapple. But we will go ahead and jump back to the table for the wide shot. So let's get back to me and my buddy Grimlock. I'm gonna put this directly onto my shelf behind my Transformers. I think that's great. There is like a piece of tape on the bottom. I'm not crazy about it. I'm gonna have to very carefully remove or leave on forever. So this is sad about that. Thank you so much for watching my first Transformers review. I'm very excited to do this. It takes a lot of time to transform these bigger ones. I'll tell you that much. I wasn't ready for how much time I was gonna consume just getting this guy into a dinosaur. I thought, hmm, maybe I'll turn him back into a robot and cut back and I'm holding him as a robot. But no, I think he's even going to go on my shelf tonight as uh, Grimlock. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll turn him back. I'm actually having a lot of fun transforming these guys. You know, I thought I was going to be more into the Transformers Red because I like the bot form. But there's something, there's something really, I don't know what the word would be, I guess therapeutic about transforming a transformer i don't know maybe it's like a like a modern day 80s nostalgia zen garden you can put that on the box has bro that's a free one hey thanks so much for watching if you made it this far i hope you're subscribed to the channel uh, if you're new to the channel i hunt things like transformers and i do these things called talking toys days during the week randomly that's kind of just like a chit chat toy show random different topics just from various little toy finds that I, I, I find to things I'd like to see companies make which are videos I'm gonna make in the future to uh, things that come out of the comments so let me know below what kind of stuff you'd like to see on upcoming videos thank you so much for watching can't do this channel without people like you so thanks I really appreciate you giving me a chance I hope you have a great day and I hope the next time you're looking for a toy I hope you find it thanks so much for watching